Hello my fellow researchers, Jason here with another video and in this video I'm going to be going over the independent samples t-test. Now you'll remember the independent samples t-test is a parametric test that measures the mean difference between two groups. And the important thing to remember is that when you're measuring the mean difference between two groups, that means that you have one nominal variable that only has two groups. And that means that you're, you're, you're testing uh, a mean difference on, on a continuous variable. So you can see here I have height, age, and BMI, and they are all continuous variables. And I have gender, smoker, and exercise, and these last two variables are do you smoke and do you exercise. But in terms of the, the groupings we have, we have two groups for each of these variables, yes and no, and yes and no. So this is all appropriate data to do some independent samples t-testing. And so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to analyze. I'm going to go to compare means and I'm going to click on means. And I just want to get a general view in terms of are there any differences between means for each of these categories or each of these variables. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in our continuous variables into the dependent list box. And I'm going to throw in our independent variables or our nominal variables into the independent variables list box. And I want to click on options. And here is where uh, I can choose what statistics I want to show. But to keep things simple, uh, I just want to show the means. I want to see the mean differences. So let's just hit continue and then OK. And so what pops up here, we got three tables. And each of these tables is one of our nominal variables. So this one we have gender. Here we have do you smoke? And then here we have do you exercise? Okay, so it allows us to quickly see are there any mean differences between these groups? So males and females are in this box. And we have height, age, and BMI um, are continuous variables along the top here. So you can quickly see any mean differences and then you can choose to explore those mean differences further with an independent samples t-test. So let's just pick one for example. Here I can see there is uh, a, a, a one unit difference between males and females in terms of their height. The height of, male is, of males is 5.9 and the height of females is 4.9. So that's a one point difference, but I don't know for sure. Is that a significant difference? That's a good question because if you look at our data, uh, well, I only have 10 males and, and 10 females. And so, well, you know, it's certainly possible that that mean difference of, of, a, of one unit could be due to what's called sampling error. Remember, the population is huge. We've got millions and millions of people. I only have 20 people in my sample. So that's why I have to do an independent, uh, independent samples t-test in order to determine is that a significant difference. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to click on Analyze. I'm going to go to Compare Means again. But this time, instead of choosing Means, I'm going to choose Independent Samples T-Test. And here is where I'm going to throw in my uh, dependent variable. And that's going to go into our, our test variable. And in that case, I'm going to put Height in there. And then in my grouping variable, well, that's just our nominal variable. And in this case, we were looking at males and females. Now, here you have to define groups for your nominal variable. And again, right, there's only two options, group one and group two. And so you're going to put the numbers one here in group one and the number two in group two. Or, or maybe not. How do I know, right? Good question. What you should do then, if you forget, is right click on uh, the, the variable right here and click on variable information. And you'll see here, value labels. One is for males, two is for females. Okay, good. So I'm going to go define groups. Group one is males, and remember, one. Group two is females, and remember, two. Okay, good. Now I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to get my independent samples t-test box. Uh, but up here, you can just see again, right? We have a, a, a unit, a one unit mean difference between males and females in terms of, of height. Okay, and here it says height. But what are we looking at here? Okay, now you'll notice there's two rows. One says equal variance is assumed and one says equal variance is not assumed. Which row do I look at? Well, you're going to look at one row or the other depending on the result of the Levine's test for equality of variances. If the Levine's test for equality of variances is significant, then you use the bottom row. 
if the Levine's test for equality of variances is insignificant, then you use the top row. And let's take a look. Here's our significance column. The value is 0.136. And remember, our cutoff or our threshold in general is 0 0.05. Therefore, since this value is above 0 0.05, it is an insignificant result. As a result, we will use the top row. And so basically, I'm looking at my T value, which is 2.387. Okay, what does that mean? Who knows? What is the significance of that T value? Well, let's take a look. It's 0 0.028. What does that mean? Well, it's less than 0 0.05. And again, 0 0.05 is generally our cutoff for significance. And so in this case, our T statistic is significant. And we would say that there is a significant mean difference between males and females equal to one. And you would probably include the exact probability of obtaining that mean difference uh, if the null hypothesis was uh, true. And in this case, it would be 0 0.028. Okay, finally, we also have our 95% confidence interval. What does that mean? Well, it means that we are 95% confident that the true mean difference between males and females in terms of their height is going to be at least 0.12 and up to 1.88 okay so in this sample we have a mean difference unit of one but but you know we're, we're not entirely sure it could be less it could be more but we're 95 percent sure it's got to be at least 0.12 or it's got to be up to or it can be up to 1.88 Okay, so that's the independent samples t-test. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me. If not, stay tuned for my next video in this video series. Cheers.